Thanks for taking a moment to tune into the beacon. Merry Christmas from everyone here at Phoenix Christian. These are extraordinary dates, and there's lots going on tonight as we speak. It's why we record this. It's a Thursday afternoon, December the 9th. There's the kids are in the middle of the courtyard right now, getting ready for their Christmas performance tonight. The vocal, the chorus, the elementary school. And tonight, a really big deal. Tonight here in this black box auditorium, we're going to have our presentation of the 39 steps. Is that right, Michael? Yes. Yes, that is. Well, let me take a moment and introduce you to a couple of amazing students that are in our high school here at Phoenix Christian. This is Michael P. Thank you. Uh, I, so I'm Michael Podlesnik, and I've been here uh, since freshman year. Yeah. And sitting next to you is? Uh, Hannah Mars. I'm a junior this year. This is my second year at PC. And so tonight's a big night. And it's actually not even tonight. We have a show that begins this evening, December the 9th at 3.30. Yep. yep. And then again on? Uh, Friday, well, Friday again at 3.30. Uh, Friday at 3.30. And, and then, then, then Saturday, uh, 7 p.m. Yep. Now, this is, a, this is kind of a big deal. We announced this, but we also have to recognize many of these shows are sold out. Mm -hmm. And so if someone's interested in wanting to get tickets to see if there's any openings to, to, to be a part of the performance tonight, how would they do that? Uh, so they uh, could uh, go online and uh, get the tickets if possible, or they can uh, come here at the Black, Black Box Theater and get them in person. Yep, and I just checked, and it looks like they're all sold out. So if you want to try and come and you don't already have tickets, I think you're going to have to try and come to the door and see if there's any open spots. Yep. And we'll make every effort to try to get you into the show. That's got to be really encouraging that there's a sold out show. I came in last night, watched you guys a little bit as you were getting input from your director, Mrs. Palma. What are you most excited about for the performance? <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your characters first. Michael, who are you playing? So I play Richard and Nay, and basically I get dragged into this weird conspiracy. It's called the 39 Steps, and this is Annabella. She uh, gets me involved, <laughs> and so then all of a sudden I get chased by the cops all of a sudden. Or she gets murdered first, and I get chased by the cops, and I get handcuffed, and I get shot. Yeah. And then I meet uh, Pamela uh, out of nowhere on the train. And we just collide again together. <laughs> and we spend a lot of time being handcuffed yeah. together. Yeah. It's quite a twisted plot. And so I play three characters. Like you said, I play Annabella. I also play a character named Mrs. Jordan. And then also um, a heavy. So how I like to describe it is I'm married to the guy that sends me to murder me. Okay, wow. I, my brain is not big enough to wrap my mind around yeah. everything that was just shared there. I'm going to have to sit, and it sounds like I'm going to have to take notes to try to understand everything that's going on. Super proud of you guys. The Fine Arts Program is just a, a program that's exploding here. We're grateful for amazing uh, teachers like Mrs. Palma, who's, who's just breathed continued life into an already amazing program. And to watch you guys hanging on her direction last night and her encouragement to you guys, I am looking forward to it. It's definitely a great first play uh, yep. for her. It's good. It's, it's going to be a great be program. Good. You know, let's talk about something else, too. Um, you know, I was in the pickup and drop off line the other day and um, Mr. Allison, one of our board members of trustees of the trustees said, hey, Jeff, don't forget when you share on the Beacon program to share about miracles. Mm -hmm. And I just want to share a little bit with our families that might not be aware. Yesterday was a pretty amazing day in chapel. Yeah. It was. And so who shared the message yesterday? <sighs> our, our, our good teacher, um, Mr. Delat. And he, um, he focused on the song, O Holy Night. Uh, he took scriptures uh, from the Bible and connected the verses and the chorus uh, to scripture. Uh, that's how he uh, taught us shared with great conviction and passion. And then when Mr. DeLatte finished sharing, then Jalen got up, yeah. one of your peers, and what did Jalen have to say yesterday? So Jalen went up and she started to lead um, an altar call, which I don't remember if we've ever done it at PC before while I've been here. It's definitely the first one this year during like a normal chapel. And it's, Jalen went up, she gave a talk about how, you know, it's not too late for any of us. Um, and Jalen's really gifted. God definitely speaks through her. <laughs> and so she invited uh, some other teachers to come up to just kind of lead some prayer um, with students that either want to dedicate their life to Jesus or rededicate their life. Um, and it went for a while. It probably went for half an hour of just students going up, being together in groups, praying with teachers. It was it was really special to watch. It was really, it was really neat to see a relationship between teacher and student. Jalen got up, shared yeah. her heart. You're right. She's 
um, her passion just pours out of yeah, her. Yeah. Um, and she invited an opportunity for students to either commit their lives to, to Jesus yeah. or to recommit their lives to Jesus. Yeah, yeah. What do you want to add to that? And uh, all the people that uh, that were committed or that, that wanted a life with God, they came up to the stage and uh, all the all the teachers that were up there, like Mr. Latz, Dr. Latz, and a few others, like Mr. Boltz, um, uh, pr prayed for them, uh, asked about their situation, and uh, I, uh, however, uh, came up and uh, laid hands on others. Yeah. It was a pretty amazing moment, and I don't want to begin to try to calculate how many students went to the front. The reality is, if one went up, that's a miracle. Yeah. But there was a large number of students yeah. committing, recommitting their life to Christ. I believe that was the last chapel for the semester. And what a way to end just an incredible semester here at Phoenix Christian. I want you guys to know on behalf of the entire organization, we're proud of you. We'll be here supporting you for the 39 Steps, a, um, a play by Alfred Hitchcock, watching you guys live out your worship <laughs> on this stage in this Black Box Theater. And then tonight, cheering our elementary and, and senior high students, middle school students um, in, their, in the choral performance mm -hmm. here in the courtyard at 630 this evening. So we're proud of you. We're proud of our fine arts program. Every week, an opportunity to celebrate what God's doing in and through Phoenix Christian and to share the miracles that God's doing every week here at Phoenix Christian. Thanks for taking a moment to listen to The Beacon.